Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more lore and loot, Morrowind. Today we are going to be taking on a quest called Baladas Demnavani. I'm going to let you guess, give you one, one chance to guess what this quest is about. Now, at this point in, in the story, we can no longer, well... We've never done any advancement. So let's go ahead and click. We find you worthy of Retainer. We find you worthy of Oathman. We find you worthy of Lawman. I cannot advance you to Mouth. You must find a patron in House Talvani. My patron, Master Arion, is quite open-minded. You might ask him. If Arion becomes your patron, I can stop being Arion's mouth here in the council. Perhaps I can get some research of my own done. So this is as high as we can get without receiving patronage from someone. And basically, Master Arion is the only one who would do this. All of the other masters are not so inclined. So in order to move up in the world... We need uh, to get Master Arion to sponsor us, and we become his mouth, and Gallus Methendus, who we just talked to, will go away and go do something else with his life, presumably research. And two of the other quests that we can do for these the masters and mistresses in House Talvani, we did one last time, Flesh Made Whole. Uh, but some of the other ones require us to be mouth rank. And if we're not mouth rank, we cannot do the quest. One of them is like that in the vanilla game. The other one has been changed like that. If you download and install some of the Morrowind patch project kind of mods that I have. In the original game, it is my understanding that you don't need to be a mouth. But... In the uh, modded version, you do. So we need to become a mouth so we can finish all of the quests. And to that end, we're going to be traveling over to Voss. In order to become a mouth. Now, I'm trying to figure out where I want to sell my equipment. Because I have all this armor, and it's weighing me down, and it's very heavy. You can see how slow I'm running, and it's bothering me. Perhaps I should have done this off-screen, but it doesn't matter. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Right. So with our other character, we've been in here, and we've killed that Corpus Stalker. But we have not done so with this character. I am not here to get rid of the Corpus Stalker. Oh, buy or sell anything with a Corpus Stalker on the loose? That's too bad then. That's not what I'm here for, woman. I'm here to sell my junk. Guess I'll have to sell my junk when I get to Telvas. This is a really short quest, actually. And it's because we've done all the legwork already. It's just a matter of getting to the place where we need to go. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to cast Water Walking, if I still have enough magic. Alright. Please, thank you. That's always a, it's always a hassle, <laughs> jumping off that boat to get into the water here. But look how slow I am. This is unacceptable. So, I think that... Is that a Kagudi? Oh, I don't want that. That's okay. Hopefully it won't see me. And I won't have to get into a fight. Because I don't have a, much, a lot of magic left. I should probably prepare fire by just in case. Leave me alone. You see nothing. Go around this rock. 
Anyway, over to the wizard's tower. And then, so, after we do this, we become a mouth. There are two other quests we're going to do. And then we're going to further the House Talvani plot, I guess. Because, you know, all this stuff, like, it's just a lot, I wouldn't say busy work, but it's a lot of just, you know, doing things for important people. And, you know, all these chores we're, we've been doing. But eventually, we've seen a couple of instances already where we can kind of get an idea that change is coming to House Talvani from within. There's a lot of the old, let's say old, old, they're all old, right? They're all hundreds of years old, but a lot of the older, oldest members of the house are kind of set in their ways. Because that's just how they are. You know, they've been around for hundreds of years. And Arion here seems to want to move the house in a different direction. So it seems to be kind of where the story is going. Barracks and Armory. Maybe I can sell there. Services Tower. I think that is really where I want to go. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to drink some potions. Because I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, I can, maybe I can. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I... Like, short flight? I'm going to have to... I don't want to waste my magic. It's only a 92%. It's fine. Here we go. I was like, it's a 92% chance that I get it. It should be fine. I'm going to make sure I save just in case I get attacked. Because I know there are bad guys in here. But I do really need to sell. Like, really bad. Alright, where am I? Okay, this leads back outside. This is a door. No, this is sleeping quarters. I don't want that. I, I just need to sell this armor. Here we go. Somebody here, surely. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to try to sell to this guy. What do, you, what do you buy and sell? Are you general goods? You're not. Will you buy this armor? You will not. That is a shame. And besides, you don't have that much gold. What about you? What do you sell? Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Do you buy this? You don't. This is most disappointing. Does anyone sell or buy armor? Dang it. Okay. I need to get to Master Arion's chambers, which I believe... Over there, I guess. All right. I'm going to have to short flight a couple of times. How much magic do I have left? 36, and it takes 16. I'm going to have to drink some potions. Well, I think just one will do. It's just a shame it's such a slow, you know, low-level spell. I just can't cast anything better at the moment. Maybe. Probably. Eventually, I will make another one that lasts a little bit longer. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I'm stuck. No, I'm stuck. Okay. Everything is fine. All right. I'm stuck again. Flying is dangerous indoors. Greetings to you. Okay, we made it. I think the shield is also weighing me down a lot. I might leave the shield here. Well, no. I don't know. I haven't decided. What brings you to Telvos? I need a patron. 
Yes, I will be your patron, but first you must convince Baladas Demnavani to join the council. Tell me more about him. Baladas Demnavani is a reclusive member of House Telvani. He lives in Arv's Drelin, just northwest of Nisus. It's actually right in Nisus. Tell me more about this join the council. Yes, speak with Baladas Demnavani and convince him to join the council. With his support, we can wrest control from the old, cautious, and unimaginative like Gothrin and Neloth. Once you have convinced him, speak with me again, and I will sponsor you in House Telvani. Very good. We will do that thing that you just said. And in, in Nisus, I'll sell my armor, because there are definitely places there I can sell the stuff that I have. All right. Probably the fastest way to do this, if I'm being honest... is to travel back. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is faster. All right. It doesn't seem like it is probably. And actually, I can go ahead and sell the armor here. Right outside here, there's an armor, and I will sell it to the armor. It's actually on my way to the... <sighs> guild guide, which is where I'm going. I think I'm going to do guild guide to tell... Uh, tell Arun? Probably, and then... Silt Strider from there. Is it? Alright, Barter. Go ahead and sell this and this. That's very expensive, and you don't have enough money. That is a shame. I can't sell to you either. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to sell this to anyone except for... Creeper. Creeper's the only guy that's going to be able to afford this right now. So I guess I'm going to head over to, eventually, Caldera and sell this to Creeper. As I slowly... You know, the shield... You know, the shield that I have... Should... Give me feather. And make me run a tiny bit faster. <laughs> Do I have a feather spell? It's only a 60% chance. Oh, but that worked. Oh, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> but it doesn't last very long. Ugh. That's too bad. <laughs> That's a real shame. It's so slow. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll be fine. This is the kind of stuff I would cut out if I were doing this not live. But... Whatever, man. This is what you signed up for. So that'll be a task for me off screen, I guess. Going to Caldera selling this stuff. And this is a very nice shield, but I might, I don't know if I need it. Feather for 10 seconds is not really that useful. That's a nice view, though. That's a really nice view. What time is it? There are no enemies nearby. I just want to know what time it is, man. Whatever. But that's super cool. Sunrise like that. I do enjoy these mods that kind of alter the... Just the environment. There's not a lot of graphical improvement, but... It's kind of cool to see sunrises and sunsets like that. Oh, you really don't like me now. I said Telerune, didn't I? I meant Alderun. You guys know... You guys know what I meant. But yeah, the Mage's Guild really, really doesn't like me right now. I'm such a high-ranking member of House Telvani. I guess if I really wanted to get under good graces, I would have to bribe them all. But I'm not going to do that. And I noticed that my character has a neck seam that's very visible when I run. Like, my head is not attached to the body. 
And I hadn't noticed that very much until now. But I'm definitely noticing it. Anyway. Hello. Nieces, please. 20 gold pieces. Why walk when you, can ride? you can see it right there. You can see straight through me. You can see the banner over there. You can see that guy right through my neck. It's fine. I'm just pointing it out. It's kind of weird. But I hope none of the bad guys have respawned in the... What weapon am I using? This is a 7 to 12, 7 to 12, 9 to 14. Yeah, this is better. I think the other one's a dagger. The glass jinx dagger. I will listen up. This is a short sword, so it makes sense that it's doing a little more damage. I love it when it's clear out and you can just really see everything. Nice clear day here in the West Gash region. Look at that. You can see the stronghold from here. That's awesome. Anyway. I suppose we should prepare ourselves for potential combat. Hello? Anyone here? No, nobody here. No enemies. Cool. This is nice. So basically, when you get here and you try to convince him to join the council, He's going to ask you to bring him the three books. Three books we've already done, though. And that's why I said we've already done the legwork for this, because we've already done that quest. And so, it's just going to be a matter of talking to him, and he's going to be like, yeah, sure, I'll join. Because he's already going to like us. And then we're just going to go back. I really should have put a recall spell in uh, <clears throat> Master Arion's chamber. Hi. Why have I come here? Join the council. I have little interest in the affair of House Telvanni, but it would not be an inconvenience to me. I will agree to join the council on the condition that you do three chores for me. Chores. I have three simple chores for you. Did I not bring these books to him yet? Did I not do this? Oh no. Fire and faith. You know the Hall of Wisdom and Vivek has a copy. I know the Hall of Wisdom and Vivek has a copy of this book, but their library is well guarded. Rec booksellers may have a copy. There are certainly a few copies in the hands of private collectors such as myself. Oh, there are certainly few copies in the hands of private collectors such as myself. Antecedents of Dwemer Law. Have you found a copy? Yes, I have. No, no tricks, Kaladelf. You do not have a copy, and we both know it. Sorry. Go find one before I lose my patience. My, my, my mistake. Chronicles of Net and Chaleft. Have you found a copy? Yes, I have. Good, I will not forget this, Caladelph. Okay, so my mistake. For some reason, I thought I had already done this. And guess what? I haven't. But this is fine. Because this is a good segue to end this episode, which is already longer than I wanted it to be. So I suppose we have two more books to retrieve. And I guess in the next episode, we will go ahead and retrieve those books. So thank you for joining me. For this episode of Lore and Loot, next time, books, book shopping. We will go and shop for books. Until then.